Welcome back YouTube and welcome to today's update on price action for Dogecoin and also I'm going to touch on a few other topics including the wallet situation at Twitter and give the end of the year projections uh, because I'm able to see things a little more clearly now and better explain my 17% uh, prediction a few days ago. So starting out here, we're going to take a look here at the shorts. And I want to mention that the shorts were not responsible for that dip down or that panic uh, fluctuation, flash crash, whatever you want to call it, in price that we saw the other day, uh, yesterday, when um, the news came out that there may be potentially pausing um, the wallet development for Twitter and obviously accepting crypto, i.e. Dogecoin. And we saw like this panic sell off and stuff like that. Shorts were not responsible for that. They are up today. Um, I think this is what 22 or 29% now uh, for the day, but they were not responsible. I checked immediately as Dogecoin was having that sell off and shorts were very minimal at that time. So it was not, it was, that was more so just a natural panic zone. And I didn't want to make a video about that. And, and I'll explain why in this video um, it is when you see the panic sell of, oh, well, he, they're pausing the development and stuff like that. That's not people who are, long term in the coin or people who even mean the coin well this, these are people that are probably going to uh well, not even probably because the shorts when i looked at the short chart and i kind of confirmed my suspicion but these are people more than likely that are swing traders and they're going to dump as soon as they hit their target price and probably take a short position to ride it back down so the the people that are selling or panic selling uh, yesterday went off of this kind of news these are the people that are looking for you know two three hundred percent and then they're going to immediately hop on the other side and try and ride it back down. So I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to say I don't care, but it's, I think it's for the better of the coin that if these people are, are afraid to get in or don't participate in the, uh, the price action that we're, we're seeing here or even expecting to see once that wallet is developed with Twitter. So that didn't affect me at all. And I, I really felt like it was a great thing that those people are leaving, at least the majority of them. So that's why I didn't cover them or make a video on it because I didn't feel like it was a bad thing. And we saw that Dogecoin still got a positive rejection on a higher high. And we're going to get into that um, right now. But I really think it's just important to kind of see where the price action is aligning. And it'll put things into perspective because you'll see all the news like, oh, it's it's oh oh no, they're, they're pausing the the wallet development. Oh, the price is going back to six cents and stuff like that. Take a look at the charts. Um, so, I made a video a couple of days ago talking about Dogecoin's next stop at seventeen cent. And I know that if you don't know how to chart or if you don't have access to charting uh, tools and programs like this, it can be a little difficult to see where I'm coming from. But now we have even further evidence. Uh, in the chart that um, is pointing to that saying that, that that prediction is correct. But I want to address this rejection that we saw uh, that we're seeing right now that we're actually in the middle of. This is still a higher high. This is like this is actually forming a wedge that with these rejections here, which is still indicating that this is a bullish trend and it's not going to fulfill itself until roughly around the end of the year. Uh, we could get a breakout. I'm not saying that this is going to stay in this trajectory um for the next month or so we can certainly get a breakout or you know an elon tweet or update or something like that you can't chart fomo but as of right now we are still on an upward trend and we're still charting a higher high so i wanted to put that into perspective before a lot of the fud and the, the bs gets out there so we are what 1273 right now still consolidating at around that 13 cent mark and i remember i said that this would be the retest um, at this level at around the 11 cent so anything above that, uh, even right now with us building up support and getting these red candles and stuff like that, that is completely fine. That's building, solidifying. The more rejections we get from here, the stronger this floor is going to be once we um, break to the upside. So, and, and for those of you who didn't watch some of my previous videos, this is what you want. You want some rejections here so that in the event or something um, happens up here, something I'm planned for, you can kind of say, oh, okay, well, we have support around this range. This, this gap, this is where things get tricky at. So you want the support that we're building right now at this range. But moving on to this wedge here, you'll see that we have an apex at around the 16, high 16, 1684, 17 mark, which is what I was talking about a few days ago. 
And this is right now, we have multiple touches on here. So as of right now, we're going to classify this as a trend. I do not do that unless we have two touches, which we now have. And I'm classifying this as a trend uh, until, until it's broken. So we could move up and see a rejection here off of this line. We have one to the upside, one rejection. So we'll see if this confirms on the, uh, the upside. But as far as on the downside, we certainly have uh, multiple touches here to establish this as a, uh, a trend. And this is obviously an ascending triangle. Or, and we have an apex at around December 31st, Sunday, um, Sunday uh, January 1st at around like that 1680, 17 cent mark. So this is obviously um, not including, because again, you can't chart FOMO or any announcement updates or stuff like that you like to have for the coin or any uh, institutions, large organizations, whales, and all kind of stuff taking positions in the coin. You can't chart that. But setting that aside, that is where the charts are seeing um, this trend would put us by the end of the year. So this is... Um, for it answers a lot of questions when you say that okay, is it too late to get in? Or if you are still trying to have your coin count DCA stuff uh, still at the lowest numbers possible, especially if you're above 20 cent, this is still a great opportunity for you to get that coin count down. It doesn't make sense to try and time the market. We, I've made a bunch of videos on this, but um, if you are looking to uh, capitalize off of the movement here with the Twitter integration. In my opinion, because obviously not financial advice, but you will want to be in before those announcements are made. So I know a lot of people are like saying, oh, no, they're pausing the updates and stuff like that. You know what's coming. You see you're having opportunity here to buy the coin at its new support levels. You know what's coming. So if you're not happy with your coin count or if you are, you know, your DCA is still you know relatively high compared to your current price action. You like you can capitalize off of this opportunity here to have coin count and to have that be your main multiplier as we hit those higher levels. This, these projections here, 12 cents, 17 cents, that's the chart saying that prior to any of the uh, FOMO swing traders and all that kind of stuff really piling into the coin. Once he says, um, you know, Dogecoin wallets, whatever goes live, you know, uh, just an example, um, December 13th, right? Before that announcement comes out, that's when you want to you want to have your ideal coin count or whatever prior to that announcement. You know, especially if you're looking, you know, I'm long term, but I know some of you are looking to take profits around them. You know, that's your business. But just as an investor, as someone who does trade stocks and stuff like that, you what you would rather be in prior to that announcement. You don't want to catch the wave going up. You want to catch things, but kind of when it's calm. Like I, I've been saying this for quite some time, like literally this entire time we've been in this range here. I've been telling people that. And if you, if you listen, you certainly are up like at least a hundred percent right now. So, um, under 20% roughly, but keep that in mind, this is still very great. Um, the price action for the coin, everything is fine. Don't let the headlines or, you know, some of the BS that you see on YouTube kind of confuse you. If you're looking at the numbers right here. We are still charting a higher high and we are now in an ascending wedge. And with the apex um, literally uh, peaking at around like the 31st, first of next year, and it's putting us at around 17 cents. That's without any of the um, the fluff or any of that kind of good stuff. So um, as of right now, this is really great entries. Uh, we're start showing support here. Got a, yet another bounce off of a higher uh, support area above 11 cents. So solidifying that floor, um, no issues or complaints from me on my end. So let me know what you think about Dogecoin in the comments, current price action, the pause by Twitter's wallet development. Let me know if you're commenting, not commenting, let me know if you're uh, continuing to buy or you're just kind of waiting to see how things play out. Uh, check out Moomoo as well. I have a link for them in the description. You get payment for order flow free trading and they have amazing uh, documentation as far as for on current events and news and stuff like that that you can get updated on. And if you want access to my trades, you can do that via Patreon. I have a link in the description as well. And I will keep you guys updated on this uh, recent price action and stuff like that. Um, we will probably meet back tomorrow. I'll release a couple videos if I see some price action um, on the, the movement over the weekend. Because I'm expecting some moves over the next few days as we get closer to midterm. So we'll kind of see how that goes. But... 
If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all of you. And I will see you in the next one.